What's up you guys? So today I'm gonna show you guys the new Say Wizard 2.0 tutorial. So all I want to let you guys know is all the requirements save Say Wizard and Save Editor is in the description so you guys can download it. You can download all of them, all the requirements. And yeah, that's a little detail I had to let y'all know. Let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you guys have to do is make sure you guys load into story mode. After you load into story mode, press up on your D-pad once, and you're gonna see your phone. And then you're gonna see that cloud on the left, right in the middle, in the middle left. You're gonna click on, and then you're gonna see quick save, okay? You're gonna click quick save, and then this menu is gonna pop up, and you're gonna see create new save, okay? So what you guys wanna do is click on that create new save, and you're gonna have an alert saying, are you sure you want to save your current game process? into a new slot press yes and after you press yes it's gonna load it okay so yeah now I'm gonna show you guys what to do in a second after you're done loading make sure you guys go to your settings and follow the next steps that I'm gonna tell you guys so the second steps are the first thing you have to do is go to your settings go to application save data management go to save in system storage or save data and click on to click to copy to USB storage device, then click on Grand Theft Auto V. Then after that, you're gonna pick your save that says 1.6 or just something that doesn't say backup, profile, or auto. So after you guys are done, what you guys wanna do is make sure you guys plug in your USB into your PC, okay? Then make sure you launch Save Editor and Save Editor, okay? So after you guys launch both of them, what you guys wanna do is first thing is make sure you guys actually make a infinity account for a save editor okay you need you need an email a password and a username okay and from there what you guys want to do is after you guys download save with i mean save editor um click on top where it says sign in put your username then put your password and then click sign in okay so this is the problem that mainly people have some people cannot find the yellow clothes hanger they can't find that because they're not signed in okay if you guys are wondering how to make an account you guys need to go to the save editor website and make an account there make an xfinity account there if you guys still don't know how to do it please look up on youtube there's a lot of videos on how to look you know how to make a lot of accounts on you know save editor i'll link a couple videos for you guys if you guys want and yeah, so after that, after you guys are signed in, make sure you guys click on open file, and then open on the modest save, the new modest save, I almost clicked on the wrong one, I'm sorry about that, but you guys click on the new save, okay, the new save that's in the description, you guys are going to click on that, after you click on it, it's going to load in, okay, so once it's loaded in, you guys, you guys click open, you click on it, and then click open, um, if you guys want to, you guys can make a backup, yeah, but for me, I would recommend you guys not to because you don't really need to. But if you guys want to make a backup, you guys can make a backup. But yeah, after that, it's going to start loading. And once it loads, you're going to see this, okay? By the way, the character, you see how it says Franklin right there? It's supposed to be Trevor. You see, by accident, I was trying to do this glitch. And by accident, I switched it to Franklin because I thought it was supposed to be in Franklin. But I was confused and I left it as Franklin. But... It actually has to be Trevor, so you're going to spawn in as Trevor like this for the save, okay? So the modest save is going to spawn you in as Trevor, okay? And make sure after you click on the clothes hanger, which is on top, you know, next to the um to the character's head, which is next to um Trevor's head, you click on it. After you click on it, you're going to it's going to like load you in with these with these like, you know, things or whatever, right? It's going to load you in with a lot of different type of components for your character so what you guys want to do is go to model okay and make sure by the way make sure up top this right here you see guys you see guys this right here make sure that's set to michael that spawning thing make sure it's on michael then make sure you guys switch to free mode no my bad switch to multiplayer mail and then the model type is free world all one okay so make sure you guys go on free mode all one multiplayer mail this is for the fem I mean, this is for the male. This is for doing the male, okay? So, make sure you guys have a penguin mask. This is the first thing that you need to do. You need a penguin mask, because if you don't get a penguin mask, you will 
not be able to transfer your outfit okay because you need a penguin mask so you can transfer your outfit online and yeah from there you guys can start doing make your outfit doing whatever i want to let you guys know there's a couple of components that are blacklisted so unfortunately like the joggers for male are blacklisted the IA badge is blacklisted. I think the cop belt is blacklisted. But you guys can get the paramedic belt. I'll tell you that for sure. I think the trash bag is not blacklisted. You guys can use that too. But you guys can only use Gorka joggers or some other type of combat joggers. Not joggers. A lot of the different um, combat pants that look like joggers. You can use those. But don't use the original joggers because those will not make your outfit transfer and when you guys transfer your outfit into online and you don't see your actual outfit that's because you got something blacklisted or the whole outfit is blacklisted okay so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of me making my own outfit and uh, yeah I'll see you guys once I'm done making my outfit Alright you guys, so once you guys are finished here, what you guys want to do, after you guys have finished making your outfit, go up here and click save, okay? So once you click save, spam it, just click it like five times, then click on main, go to model type, and then switch it to multiplayer female, so, and then switch your model to free mode 01, okay? So this is going to save the components, because this is like a female to male, and a male to female glitch, so... This is for the mail, so this is the tutorial of the mail. So, and the same thing, just spam, spam it five times. Then from there, click the X. And then where it says save file, click on it. And then from there, it's gonna say the save file has been successfully saved. Just, I recommend you guys to save it three times, just in case. So nothing bad happens, okay? And then from there, you guys can close save editor. You no longer need save editor, okay? You can close that out. And then now, what you guys want to do is open save wizard, okay? Open save wizard. Make sure you guys have save wizard open. Make sure you guys buy it. And from here, you're gonna see your save. Okay. Make sure you guys register. So um, make, make sure you guys register a profile. Cause you see right here, you have to go to advanced mode. You have to click on your save. Click on the current save. Click right on your on your mouse. And then you're gonna see advanced mode. If you don't see that, you will need to register a profile. I will send you guys videos on how to register a profile, so you guys have an idea of what to do. So yeah. You can only register two profiles, and if you register too many profiles back and forth and delete them, you're gonna have to wait 30 days until it's gone. So just keep buying saves and all. But once you guys load in like this, what you guys want to do is go to import file, and then from there, you guys are gonna get your file, which is the modded save, obviously. It's the modded save. 
So you're gonna go to the mod to save right here, and then you're gonna click on it, and you're gonna open it. So click on it, and open. You're gonna see the numbers change, okay? So after all these numbers change and all, you're gonna click apply, and then you're gonna click yes, okay? So it's gonna start loading and all, and yeah. Like I said, you guys have to register a profile so you guys can see the advanced mode, okay? I will link. I will leave a link for a register profile video. I'll, like, I'll leave a video from a registering profile so you guys know how to do it. And yeah, after it loads in here, after it says it has been successfully, you know, modified or whatever, just click OK, and then from there you can close Save Wizard 2. Alright, so you guys, so once you guys load in here into the um, mod to save, what you guys want to do is make sure you guys join a friend, okay? So, the first thing I would let you guys do is actually just join a friend, please, because this is how people get stuck in the loading screens. This is how you get stuck in the loading screen. This is why other people get stuck in the loading screen, because they do not join a friend at the beginning. Once you load into the save like this, please, please, please. Just please join a friend, okay? This is how people get stuck in the loading screen. And by the way, take your time, okay? So if you don't have friends in here, what you guys would do is either go to online before doing all of this and just um, add random people that are in online or just join somebody that's in the crew or crew member or somebody in the dashboard of the crews, please, because this will get you stuck in the loading screen. It doesn't matter if they're in a the job and you have to spectate if the lobby's full, if it's a private, Friends only, doesn't matter. Just as long as you're joining a friend, you're good, okay? So, just keep following the steps, and I'll see y'all when I'm done loading in. So, as you guys can see right here, I'm finally loaded in. So, the first thing you guys have to do is make sure you guys have all the jobs active, okay? So, I'm going to show you guys where the time trial is at. The time trial is all the way up here, actually. I was looking for it. I thought it was at the bottom of the map. But, unfortunately, it's all the way up in Polito Bay, okay? So, it's all the way up here, as you guys can see all the way up here next to like this little liquid store so the time trial is right there you guys have to go in it and you can either fly or, or use a jet or make sure you spawn there or you can teleport as using the teleportation glitch if you guys don't see the time trial go to hide options then make sure every single job and every single event is showed okay so you see all of my jobs are showed it says custom but they're all showed okay so make sure they're all showed Make sure all the jumps say show, no hide. Make sure even if there's one that says hide, just show, just in case, okay? Then from there, after you're done with all of these, go to um jobs, and then make sure the jobs are showing too. And then from there, drive to the time trial, fly to the time trial, do whatever. From there, what you guys want to do is pick a car, then go into the time trial, press right on the D-pad, wait three seconds. After three seconds, switch to Michael, then you're gonna load in into the clouds. So I'll see you guys once I'm downloading. All right, so as you guys can see right here, I'm loading in. I finally loaded in as the weird character. So what you guys wanna do is make sure you guys run straight, okay? Just run straight, don't run too far away, and then look back and make sure that the character spawns. If it doesn't spawn for me, I thought it spawned, but unfortunately it didn't spawn. So just switch to Michael, okay? When you switch to Michael, you guys are going to have this weird thing. Everybody's going to disappear. All the cars are going to disappear. It's going to look blurry or whatever, or like pixelated. Ignore that. You're going to spawn in as Franklin, and it's Franklin's house. So what you guys want to do is press pause, go to online. Play GTA Online, and you gotta be very fast for this part. If you disconnect like this, you gotta be very fast. So what you guys wanna do is go to an invite-only session. As soon as you guys click yes, go to network. Then from there, go to connect to the internet, and then 
uncheck that check mark and then recheck it on the box and then go back double tap your PlayStation button go back to your game you're gonna see these two alerts and just accept both of them if you get one of them it doesn't matter just accept the alerts that you get and then from there it's gonna load you in um, unfortunately I'm gonna cut this clip I cut I actually cut it this clip my bad I actually cut it this, this clip because um, I already did this part and it, um, my outfit didn't run online so I had something blacklisted so I had to redo the outfit and yeah but the most important thing is I'm showing you guys how to do it so same thing run straight you're gonna see the character spawn and then from there look now you got your character you got your weird really weird character so after you spawn like this walk around for a couple minutes I mean seconds and then from there just switch to Frank um, Trevor hey you're gonna switch to Trevor then as soon as you switch to Trevor you're gonna load in and when you switch after you spawn in that's Trevor you're gonna switch back to Michael okay so you're gonna switch back to Michael and then from there you guys We'll have to go to online and do the rest of the glitch, okay? So, I'm going to show you guys. Switch to Frank, I'm Michael. I keep saying Frank because I'm so sorry. But, you switch to Michael, okay? And then when you load in, when you load in like this, it's going to kind of load you in like this. You know, it's going to keep you in the cloud like this for a couple seconds, but then it's going to load you in. So, don't worry because for me, it did load me in. So, yeah. It's going to load you in. Then now, what you guys want to do is walk around do whatever but don't stay too long okay press pause as soon as you spawn in just press pause press play GTA online invite only session I did it too quickly because I was in a rush because I had to do a lot of things and all and how to go somewhere but I was in a rush so I had to do it as quick as I can but thankfully I actually did hit the glitch with, with going fast but I would recommend you guys not to do it fast for me it did work going fast but please do not do this fast because you will get stuck in the loading screen okay the only time you should join an invite only this is for the people too you're only supposed to join an invite only when you're about to go online like now see and I'll have to join the invite only just to go to online okay so I can bring my outfit online okay so after you guys are finally done loading in you're gonna load in as a time trial and guess what you're gonna have your outfit you're gonna have your outfit uh-huh yep you gonna have your outfit okay so for the people that actually want a duffel bag this is pretty easy to get okay I'm gonna show you guys how to even save it I'm gonna get you guys how to do it how to save it and whatever don't worry I got gotcha. you so you're gonna spawn in with a parachute I don't know if you if you guys are gonna spawn in this black one like me or you're gonna spawn in a different one but what you guys want to do is register as the VIP or CEO and then Go to accessories and then go to your CEO, go to style, switch one to the right and then back to the left. And you're going to see the duffel bag right there. So I'm going to show you guys how to even save it. I'm going to show you guys how to save it. So you're going to obviously be in Polito Bay. It's fine. But what you guys want to do is order a buzzard from the interaction menu or you know from the CEO. And yeah, so I'll see you guys once I'm in the mass store. By the way, you have to go to the mass store just so you can save your um, duffel bag. So I'll see you guys once I'm in the mass store. So as you guys can see, I'm finally at the beach where the mass store is at. So what you guys want to do is get a good altitude, okay? No, don't go too high or don't go too low, okay? Just go a little bit, you know, to my distance. Then when you're kind of a little bit close to hitting the ground, or not hitting the ground, but you know, close to the ground, open your parachute and what you guys want to do, this is a little bit tricky, okay, because you might not get this. The first thing I would recommend you guys to do is call the authorities off so you won't get the cops off of you, I mean on you. So just do it through the interaction menu. So what you guys want to do is calculate your drop and calculate your distance, okay. If you if you fall like this, just try to run or walk as fast as you can. And if you spawn in like that, you're fine, okay. So as soon as you be like that, as soon as you're in there, spam right on the D-pad, okay. Is to spam right at the D-pad when he's taking your parachute off. When you're taking your parachute off, spam right on the D-pad, and then click uh, square so you can save your outfit. You can name whatever, doesn't matter. Just save your outfit. I say that as I'm white. Your duffel bag is gonna be gone. So what you guys want to do? Open your attraction menu, go to style, and then go to your outfit, and your your duffel bag is right there. You finally got your duffel bag. So this is how you do the glitch for the 2.0 of Save Wizard for the uh, male outfits. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so YouTube can notify you when I do uploads on the channel. I really, really appreciate you guys coming through here to my channel. Um, we're so close to that 1,000 subscribers. Actually, at 749 or 39. I really appreciate you guys. It really doesn't mean a lot. I cannot wait to get that modded account and give it away to you guys. I'm doing a modded account giveaway for those of you guys that don't know. I have 1K. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you on the next video slash stream. Peace.